New at 10, we have new details tonight on Quincy Public Schools plan to ask voters for more money. WGEM's Brett Neese was at tonight's school board meeting. He joins us live from the board office tonight with more Brett. Yeah, Kaylee, good evening. This is the packet of information that was handed out at tonight's uh, regular board meeting. It's a very detailed packet of information and inside it includes the ballot language they plan to use and it explains just how the board and the school district plans to allocate the more than $5 million that this tax increase would raise. Tonight, the QPS school board unanimously approved asking voters to increase its annual tax levy by 53 cents. There was no discussion on the matter. Instead, board president Saeed Ali gave a passionate speech about why this is the course of action the board decided to take. It's not about agreeing with us. It's about you know, giving us the ability to have that conversation with the community. School officials say the tax increase would raise a little over $5 million. According to the packet of information handed out tonight, around 1.3 million of that would go towards funding state mandates like $40,000 minimum teacher salaries and a minimum wage increasing to $15 an hour for other staff members. To meet all of those needs and to build that world-class education, this is the step that we, we needed to take. The packet also outlines how money would be spent to improve technology at all of its schools and meet other educational requirements. Superintendent Roy Webb is hopeful if this vote passes, this would help cut down on what the district calls a staggering turnover rate among its teachers. We also lose teachers to Brown County. We lose teachers to Camp Point. We lose, we lose teachers to the parochial schools. We need to compensate our teachers uh, competitively and we need to make sure that they have all the resources they need to do their job. And QPS plans to hold several events where the public can come and ask questions about this ballot issue. They say that they want you to be informed before you go uh, to the polls. And this ballot issue will be on the March 17th ballot in 2020. Live in Quincy, Brett Neese, WGEM News. Brett, thank you. And here's some more information about how QPS has taxed residents in its district in the past. The district is a member of LUDA, or the Large Unite District Association. The group has 49 school districts, and Quincy currently ranks last, meaning it taxes its residents the least. Now, if this vote passes, the district says they would still be in the bottom four or five in that list.